Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I wanted to talk to you about colour correcting. What I do personally to colour correct my blue under eyes, which are very prominent these days because I barely sleep. <laughs> and I wanted to discuss a few do's and don'ts and some hints and tips. And yeah, I'm gonna show you up close and personal. You're gonna see what it looks like to be up all day, every day, all night, every night. <laughs> Insomnia hits real hard. <laughs> yeah, before we get into it, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the red button down below and the bell button just so you get notified of my future uploads. And yeah, without further ado, let's zoom you guys in and we can get right on into making myself look a hundred times more awake. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what colour correction is used for. It's used to neutralise or diminish, counteract an undesirable colour on the face. So for example, blue under eyes, if you've got a lot of redness, if your skin's a little bit dull, you can use colour correction to counteract this and change tones in your skin. What colour correction shouldn't be is add in a lot of colour to correct but then having to cover up said colour. <laughs> when you add the colour over top you almost don't want to be able to see it. You want it to just merge into your skin. What I see a lot of people doing online mainly like Instagram and things to you know get the clickbait is putting straight pretty much primary colours on their face to counteract blueness which sometimes isn't even there. <laughs> which in itself isn't doing colour correcting. You're just adding another layer to your skin which you then need to cover. Which they then tend to do with like a full coverage concealer or something like that. <laughs> it's not efficient, it's just an extra layer on your face. I've also seen people using like red lipstick. Don't put lipstick underneath your eyes, okay? It's just not meant to be there. <laughs> it's too thick, it's too heavy. Just don't do it. Just use a concealer please. <laughs> and colour correction doesn't need to be that hard. <laughs> the darker colours that people do use on Instagram would be great for people with richer skin tones, with deeper skin tones. They can get away with using darker colours because essentially what you're trying to do, use a corrector that's pretty much your skin tone <laughs> and it just has a little touch of the colour correction. But you don't want to go in with something so deep that's on your face that you then need to lighten over top with another product. I hope I'm making sense. Probably making it sound a lot harder than what it actually is. So basically, I have a little bit of blueness underneath my under eyes, which is what I like to colour correct. The product that I've been using quite a bit is by Makeup Revolution. It's their Conceal and Correct Concealer, and this is in the shade Peach. Now, if I show you this on the back of my hand, this is what the actual colour looks like. This in itself is going to be too dark for me because it's a lot darker than my skin tone, even though I have fake tan on. Would you believe it? <laughs> What I do with this product, I actually mix it in with the concealer that I'm going to be using for the day to lighten it up and bring it more to my actual skin tone. Obviously this will vary on your skin tone. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> I am going to do a side by side so you can see, but if I was just to go in with this, it's going to be too dark for my under eyes and I'm going to look a little crazy and like I've got a peach eye bag, which then I'm going to have to counter out with more concealer. So yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough of an explanation. Let's get right on into the actual application and show you guys what I've been so doing. So first I'm gonna show you guys what I wouldn't suggest doing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go on the don't side, which is gonna be my right, your left. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go straight in with the doe foot over top of my dark circle. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. This is my first time trying this little baby blender from Real Techniques, so <laughs> please bear with me. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. It's actually not showing up that crazy on camera, but please just bear with me. So I've blended this out now, but I don't know if you've noticed my actual under eye now looks a little bit darker than the blue one over here. <laughs> it has cancelled out that blueness, but it's actually left a darker area, which then I'd need to go over top with a lighter concealer. And it was also a lot of product put down here, so I blended it out, but it's kind of gone past the area that I actually needed to colour correct. When you do that, it's just excessive, you don't need to do that, and you're colour correcting areas then that don't need it. So what I like to do is I take my colour corrector, just on the back of my hand, and I just put a little bit. I 
don't need a lot. And then I take the concealer that I'm going to be using for that day and I put a little bit next to it on the back of my hand. We're making a little concoction, okay? We're having a little bit of fun, mixing and matching. <laughs> I'm going to take a small little blending brush and I'm just going to mix it all together. And this is what I've got on the back of my hand. So it still has that peachy tone, but it's pretty much blending in to my skin tone, which is what you want. Now what I'm going to do with my little blending brush is I'm just going to buff over the area that I want to color correct. Light little motions to give a nice blend, but keep it concentrated in the area that I want it. I'm not going to blend it all over the place. Get kind of dark on the inner corner. So I like to add a little bit there. Then mainly it's this kind of eye bag area that I get the majority of my darkness. Now I'm gonna go in with my ring finger and I'm just gonna dab over that area to further blend it into my skin. Okay, so that is basically what I do to color correct the darkness. I've done the slightest layer. Now that I've done this, I don't need to use as much concealer to actually brighten up the area because I'm not trying to counteract any blueness that's there because it's pretty much gone. And you can see it's gone from this side as well, but now I'm just peach all under here. <laughs> So I think the importance is to tailor color correcting and not to just use it as it comes because it may not be suitable for your skin. I see a lot of skin correctors that are really dark and that are almost like orange toned and they're not going to suit everybody, especially if you're very fair. So something to bear in mind, if you do have blueness, please just make sure it's just a tad more pink. Yellow also counteracts the blue as well. If you ever want to know what will counteract a different color, just take a a look at an extended color wheel and you're looking at the color that's opposite on the color wheel and that will counteract whatever color you want to get rid of but just bear in mind that you're not going to want to go in with that straight color you're going to want to go with a skin tone version of that color i hope that makes sense <laughs> Sam Ravendahl explained it quite well in a video she recently posted. Even though I have blueness on my under eye, I also have skin tone. So it's like the blueness is almost underneath the surface of the skin. So you still have something subduing that color. So if I was to go in with a straight red over top of the blue, it's missing that skin tone. It's missing that dilution of the color, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. <laughs> Something I wanted to say as well is, please remember, makeup is not plastic surgery. <laughs> so I have blueness underneath my eyes, which I can conceal and I can correct, but that does not get rid of the depth underneath my eyes here. There's a difference between trying to get rid of color and trying to get rid of shadow. There is a way to combat shadow, but not really in real life, because in real life, light hits you from all different directions throughout the day, especially if you're out and about in public, which, you know, none of us are, but <laughs> there isn't a way in day-to-day -day life that you're gonna be able to combat something like a sunken and dry, which I do kind of have. The color correction helps my blueness, but as far as the actual shadow and the concave of my eye. Makeup is not going to get rid of that. The only thing that's really going to get rid of that is filler, <laughs> which you know I have considered. I just think it's not needed right now, maybe when I'm older. <laughs> yeah, just bear that in mind. If that's something that bothers you, makeup is not going to be your end all be all. Not that I'm telling you to go get plastic surgery. Oh my god, no. Don't take it that way. What I'm just saying though is have realistic expectations of what the makeup can do for you. It can be amazing and so helpful and can make you feel better by doing this if you do have blue under eyes. But please remember that it is just makeup. So that is pretty much it. That is how I color correct my under eyes. I usually go in with my foundation and then I go over top with my normal concealer over top of this. And yeah, that's what I do to conceal my blue under eyes, being a pale person. <laughs> I'm just gonna go finish up the rest of my face and then I'll come back and talk to you guys in a second. Hey guys, so I just finished up my makeup. This makeup is gonna be coming up in a get ready with me pretty soon. So if you like it, 
it's coming. It's already available, I'll put it in the eye over here. Um, but yeah, anyway, color correcting. I hope I helped at least one person out there. <laughs> and you know, just talk to you through what I like to do, talking about the fact that it's not just using a straight color to cancel out one other color. It's a amalgamation of things that you need to consider, especially bearing in mind your skin tone. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it a little bit informative. If you're new, I do stuff like this all the time on my channel. So if you wanna subscribe, you just need to hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just let you know when I upload next. I'd love to have you. It's always nice to have new people to share things with. But yeah, I'm gonna now love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, stay sane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy world out there right now. But yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Stress is a bit boobalicious, isn't it? It's hard to be modest in this. <laughs> but it's such a pretty colour and I love the sleeves. Boobs just get in the way of everything. <laughs> Everyone's trying to annoy me today. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I think that's enough for now. So yeah, anyway, I think that's enough on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>